where do we lay where did, where did we leave off? First action step, talk to the city to find out about ordinances. I also think we can ask them about locations, like how much help do they give towards locations and you know, like what kind of support does the city provide? Okay. What support does the city provide? And what was what was it that we were talking about prior to that that initiated this conversation? We were saying if the model is plot based. Right. Well, okay, and and I don't disagree with the concept of the model being plot based, but to get the buy in from the masses of people who already feel like it's way easier to go and buy processed food, you have to um, educate. So that's that's a in the future goal if you're going to say to a family, well, it's much cheaper to buy a plot because you'll be paying sixty dollars for a year's worth of grocery or fresh produce, blah 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 blah. You know, the first thing they're going to say is, well, it, you know, in Chicago in the winter months, which is eight months out of the year, we won't have anything. How is that better? We'll still have to go and get bad vegetables or no vegetables. Or and I thought about I thought about that, and I I thought about that, and when this was when this country was you know, uh, let's say 70, 80 percent of the people farmed, what do they do in the winter times? How do they do it? Do they jar things up? Um, you know, do they freeze things? What do they do? Yes, exactly. I don't have an answer per se, but I was thinking a part of that answer is there was trade, which is probably how trade was born. Well, uh, no, trade trade was born when when uh, somebody decided to uh, hoard their you know, stuff. Yeah, hoard the stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's when trade started. But that's my point. And my point is, is okay. So in in Illinois, and I don't know what the seasonal things are in Illinois, or what we can grow, let's say, in the winter. Um, but when we get to the winter months, we get oranges from California and Florida, or at least we used to. Now it's Nicaragua and other places, but we used to get them there. So at some point, I'm sure there were things that we provided to California and Florida that didn't grow there na naturally. Right. So, the question, so I'm sure there's a fair amount of trade and I'm sure there's still things that can grow, but you know, obviously, a busy family with you know after-school activities and jobs and PTA meetings and report card pickups and whatever else you have that would come into a busy family's life, they wouldn't necessarily have the time to get into the trading game or or figuring out. I I, I guess I'm saying I think most people will not be so interested in becoming farmers. Well, good question. So, so, or good point. So, is the answer not to do anything and continue to die from a diet related diseases? Well, I, once again, I don't have a definitive answer on that, but I would say that right now the masses feel, yeah. <laughs> the what? The masses say, yeah. Because that's well, a bigger problem that they could deal with later when they have to deal with changing their diet from the diabetes and the high blood pressure and the congenitive heart failures. Well, obviously, then, you know, just the way that I think the United States has these campaigns, you know, to like drink more milk or buy more cheese and, you know, uh, all these, then there should be a campaign. A part, you know, make a part of this project a campaign to educate. I mean, this, that's what the thing is to educate people, and maybe we should go to the the end result and show people with diabetes and legs cut off to make a shock value uh, to get people to wake up. Well, yeah, and I also agree that it's 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 compelling to just say, okay, the cost of eating healthy 
in the short term may appear to be more expensive, but it's way less expensive than trying to um, come up with $500 to $1,500 a month for the medication, not to mention your hospital visits and your doctor visits annually from all of these things. I think, I think that's compelling. I mean, yeah, showing people being sick is compelling, but I think if you want to get them to realize, I mean, and I, I, okay, so maybe what I'm saying is that in our system, in our government, in our country, we, we've gotten into the habit of what does it cost me right now? And nobody thinks in terms of, I mean, nobody even saves. Like, if you wanted to go to the Bahamas, how would you, how would you look at paying for that for two weeks? Uh, you put money aside. How many people would think in terms of, okay, how much does it cost to go to the Bahamas, and I want to go next year, so how much would it cost me per day to save so that I have the money to go? Well, here's the thing. Again, this has to do with education. And, you know, most people will say, you know, or maybe not even think like that. So, again, this, this points to the education. And... So should this project be more about educating or actually creating the gardens? Because for one, I think the gardens are there and they need support. We're just putting another wheel out there that we're making. Well, you know, one of the things that I, I one of the documentaries that uh, was the Forks and Knives, and one of the doctors said that, you know, we look at things as being isolated, right? Like when you have a... a you know, a problem with uh, your arthritis or, you know, um, some other thing. You have a problem with a lot of other things that may be the, the you know, that might be the, the first sign to that problem, but there are other problems that are going on and down the line. So, you know, it doesn't, it's not isolated. Right. So, so it's not, um, you know, education is not just education. It's not just the community gardens. It's 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 a lot of things happening all at once to create that storm. Going to, huh? That perfect storm that we're in right now. A lot of no, things. No, I mean, to not the perfect storm, but to create that um, to create the solution. It's not just. The education is not just the community gardens. Is all these different things that that has to um, that have to happen at one time to make this work, to make the project work. Okay, so we need to talk to Obama too, then, huh? Like I think I think I, I think we do need to uh, pick up the phone and call <laughs> Obama and call Michelle Obama. Hey, you have an initiative. We have a solution. We do. <laughs> uh. Well, and I think, I, I mean, I do think on a, a larger, way larger scale, we, at some point in time, I think that what is missing in our, in our country is the common sense factor. And I think that it's definitively missing from the law, if that makes any sense. The law? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Because you can't go to the courts for help unless you have someone that speaks the court's language, like an attorney, that will go before you because they're not thinking in terms of common sense. They're thinking in terms of precedence and a specific style of language. And if you're not speaking that language, then they don't hear you. Well, I agree. So that's a problem because... And I think that that's bled into, if not wasn't always, maybe it was always there, but it's in our government. Hence the reason why you have to have committees in the government to study the logic of things, you know, and not even the logic. And then you have all of these different entities, people, needs, and things that, like, like I was looking on that open Congress site and looking at some of these um, bills that are proposed, right? Right. So as I as I suspected, there's a lot of initiatives into a bill. 
there's a lot of initiatives buried in into one bill. Okay. You know, so they're voting on a bill, but this bill has many components to it because they've put a lot of chock full of initiatives into it. So then it's not simply a question of, okay, we're putting a bill in to say we want to put a stop sign at this street because people are getting hit. It's like, well, we want to put a stop sign, but we also want to put some lineage down. And then we're thinking that we'll have uh, traffic guards out there during the busiest times. And then we'll also throw in this and that. So then it becomes a bigger question. And then it becomes negotiable. Okay, well, we'll give you this, but we want to take that out. And we'll, we'll agree to this, but that shouldn't be there. Or we want you to add these things because these are important to us. So now the logic of things gets murkier, fuzzier. That's my opinion of what I'm seeing. And when I was looking at it, like a couple of, I looked at the, um, I pulled up the food bills that were on the table from the FDA standpoint, and I, I think it was only maybe two categories that had a significant amount in there. And then when you start looking or trying to figure out what is this that they're proposing, what is it about? that's where you start seeing all of this stuff and it gets overwhelming and confusing and that's just for me as a layman what if I were a congressperson and it was my job and I had 500 of these you just start signing them <laughs> or you don't <laughs> or you just go nope or you know well what what is my backing one right who, who donated the most money let's see. right or, or who would this hurt if I went with this you know, like what is the decision, how do these things get decided and where, I guess the overall logic of it all is it doesn't make a lot of sense to outsource to other countries because the bottom line is, is you're taking the income, the revenues out of the country. Now, who in the country can afford to pay for it when you're paying all of the people, the workers that are putting them together in another country, all of that money is staying over there. It's not over here. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. It didn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense because then you have the residual effect of a lot of Americans can't afford iPods or can't afford MacBooks or can't afford all of these toys that you're so busy building so that you could sell them at a profit to us because you're not putting a major force of Apple products being sold in China. Your, your stores aren't in China. I mean, you might have some, but it's not the preponderance of your business. Your 80% is here. It's 20% in China. How much sense did that make? And in that same token, if you're looking at food, corporate farmers doing, like, pushing corn or all of these byproducts that they can process out and, and make step on to make it into more product of crap that they can sell and add chemicals to to stretch it even further so they can make more and more profits getting getting their cost as close to zero to get their profit as close to a hundred percent as possible well now you're making your consumer base your target audience sick ill and dying how much sense does that make? Well, okay, I, I, I hear you. <laughs> what are we going to do about it? Right, so I, I, I don't know, I don't, I, and that's why, okay, so let's talk to the city about the ordinances and the rules and things like that as a step one. Maybe right. this is an initiative of creating a support where our, our nation's governmental forces get actually behind this as opposed to behind the corporations and maybe we start with the city of Chicago to as a testing ground to see if it works because there's already a lot of community gardens out there but mm -hmm. it's not even for all of these community gardens we're not even remotely addressing food deserts are we well um, why don't you write that question down because I think you know, that question right there would have been a great question to ask Benja. I think we did. Huh? I thought we did. Well, I can't remember. What did he say? <laughs> I, I kept saying, because I was trying to take notes, but I kept saying to myself, it's on the video, so you can... Well, yeah, thank you. Thank goodness I was recording. Right, exactly, exactly. But I didn't want to keep looking like I'm like, wait, let me write that down. You know, like, <laughs> do the whole thing. Right, well, so, I mean, 
I think here's the thing. I think that addressing the food desert does it address the food desert. So again, this is the this is kind of like that market research where we have to get out there and 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 get a feel for what's happening you know in the marketplace if you will if you call it a marketplace but on, on the street you know what we did ask him and he answered that's how he went into the whole food bank thing the food what bank remember when he started explaining the food bank and where the overages goes right 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 so and so okay but yeah I mean so so then my question would be you, so your question was does it address the food the food desert desert and then because I haven't received any uh, fr uh, vegetables from anywhere nowhere so where do I go what do you mean by that I mean like I, I gotta go out and go to the grocery store now <laughs> you know I mean if I wanted if I wanted like the, when I went to the other the one on Chicago Avenue I had to I, I was I, I was I didn't qualify I don't qualify probably for the you know the one on sixty in sixty uh, the sixty fifth and Woodline Community Garden, and you know that's far. So look, even if I I was to get a plot, look how far I would have to go to be a part of that community, which I'm really not. So there's no community, there's no garden in my community that I know of other than the one I just sent you. Even that's too far. So what so in my community, what what are my choices? You do have that wonderful Mac Avenue grocery store that's not far. I do. I have a, all the stuff you know that we've seen came from. Well, the bananas came from Nicaragua, <laughs> and um. And do we not grow bananas here? I thought we did. No, we we don't grow bananas here. Uh, here there's no banana growing. There's no banana growing. It's like no palm trees either. What about Hawaii? I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm very. I don't know. Because Hawaii is tropical and is a, a state. Uh, doesn't Hawaii have pineapples though? I think so. I know they have coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> I so. I do not know if they sell them or if they're just there for tourists to see. But right. <laughs> I do. Um, well, um, so t does it address it? I would say no. No, it does not. And and I don't. Really, and I, not on a large scale that we're talking about. Right, and I I even feel that walking away from the interview we had with Banja Binja. Um, his community garden doesn't serve it either. Why do you say that? Well, they have free garden, I mean, free produce around the outside. Right. Um, I think I'm saying that not from a standpoint of it isn't the intent. I think I'm saying it more from the standpoint of awareness for that community. Okay. And that isn't necessarily the fault of the of the garden, um, but I think it comes back to the educating. Like, how many people actually know that they actually have a, a fresh farm produce stand in Inglewood? I think on Fifty Fifth, I was reading about. Um, I'm sure it's just during the summers, and that with the link program, you can get double what what it, what your value is like you get a, a discount, I think a 50% off or something like that if you use your link card to buy the fresh produce. That That is an initiative I'm assuming started by the state to encourage people to purchase fresh produce. Well, here, here's the thing, that's the, so that, I mean, I don't know either, but when you talk about discounts and using a link card and where this fresh produce di is, you know, I was at uh, the Roosevelt and the Roosevelt uh, Red Line Station, and they have a little pizzeria shop down there. And I asked, "Oh, how much is that little banana there, right?" And the banana was a, a dollar and ten cents. That's now, right, for a banana. 
I'm serious. A dollar and ten cents for one banana. And Trader Joe's is right down the street, and they sell bananas for 19 cents each. And so when you say 50% off, like, if it's, is it priced where it's, you know, you're still making, like, crazy money, even though you're getting double it? I think it's a state initiative, and I think the point of the initiative was to support farming, uh, local farmers, local organic farmers that um, at the um, at the farmers markets. And it's not at grocery stores; it's at farmers markets. Oh, so it's at farmers markets. Okay. Yeah. So if you go to a farmers market to buy your produce and things like that and use your link card, you get double the amount that you would buy. And so do the farmers. Uh, is that subsidized where they get money kicked back from the government? What I came across did not get into that part. <laughs> but I don't know. No, I'm saying like if 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 I'm a farmer what and, and you Well I get the far I think the farmer gets to keep the the amount or something like that. I don't I don't know. I have to look into that. That's a quick question that how does that work? Why yeah. why why is that initiative? Who is that serving? Right, that's yeah. And then uh, the other thing, too, where all these uh, community gardens in the state uh, that program at the, the University of Illinois, what we need to do as an action plan is to s see what uh, resource site we can find that shows the, um, the health-related diseases or people that in certain communities and see if these community gardens are making a, a difference or even these programs that are making a difference in it because uh, the data if we have to have the resources especially if we go into the city of Chicago to be able to back us up with data so we need to find that too okay I'm making a note of that and then uh, so, well, I got to go get those pillows. I'm going to probably have to leave in 20 minutes. Okay. Because I need to go down to get those pillows um, and some groceries. And some All the way down to Roosevelt to get some groceries. Roosevelt and what? Well, I think, I'm thinking of going down to uh, Trader Joe's because... Um, I don't know if Jewel sells capers. And then Jewel is so close to Trader Joe's that I just want to compare prices because Trader Joe's seems to be cheaper. That's shocking that you say that. What? The capers? That Trader Joe's is cheaper. It's shocking that I say that? Yeah. Well, I, I, was, I, I was looking at the raw almonds. Well, first of all, I remember I... Took the, showed you that picture of uh, the peanuts and planters. Uh -huh. It was salted and it had all that stuff in it. Well, Trader Joe's, I bought some peanuts and sunflower seeds, and I couldn't find any sunflower seeds in in uh, and Jewel either. And I was able to get uh, sunflower seeds and unsalted peanuts from Trader Joe's uh, that didn't have any chemicals other than didn't have any chemicals at all. And no salt. And you couldn't find that at like a Jules or a Dominic's or something? No. No. Not at all. Shame on you, Jewel. <laughs> and Dominic's. Okay. So I'm... Well, I'm, I didn't go to Dominic's. I had to say Jewel. I don't want to put Dominic's in the picture. That's okay. They're almost out of the picture anyway. They are. It breaks my heart because between Jules and Dominic's, I'm a Dominic shopper. And I have been for the last 20 years. Ah. Uh. Well, so I don't. I don't understand this decision at all. At all. <laughs> like, what? Well, the decision is Mariano's. The decision is Whole Foods. The decision is Trader Joe's coming in the marketplace, giving other people options. And if you're not competitive, you'll die, just like the typewriter. You want to stay in the typewriter business? Go ahead. But computers. Yes. <laughs> But, it's a way of the future. But I would say that Dominic's was one of the first stores that actually got on this on board with this because they did the whole revamping of all their stores quite a while ago, which is how they got me in the first place. And then 
I, I've always felt that between, in my community, between the Whole Foods around here and Dominic's, Dominic's is usually less expensive and offers better deals. <clears throat> Trader Joe's, I don't go to that much because it doesn't have as many options, choice, uh -huh. selection, or at least the one over here doesn't. And then um, Jules, I go to because it's closest if I'm in a hurry. Well, I know comparing to Jewel to, to Trader Joe's, at 19 cents a banana, uh, it comes out to, I think, 50, 60 cents per pound. So Jewel has the cheapest bananas. Trader Joe's, you mean? No, Jewel has the cheapest bananas. At 19 Jewel's cents? 37 cents a pound. Okay. Which, you know, comes out to uh, less than 19 cents per banana. Okay. So they're 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 marketing it at nineteen cents being cheap, but it's not really cheap. Yeah, but here's the thing. Jules doesn't always sell their bananas at thirty seven cents a pound. Well, for the last month they have been thirty seven cents a pound. Okay. Because I've I've seen them where they're that low and I've seen gone in assuming they would be that low and I'm like, whoa, they're like fifty nine cents a pound. That's totally a different mathematical equation you know like so but if they're more consistently that that's why people choose jewels um, Mariano's doesn't have as many stores um, and I went into Mariano's and fell in love with Mariano's but they're just not for me to shop there also Treasure Island but um, for me to shop there regularly I'd have to travel right which defeats the purpose. I'm right. thinking another action step, and, and I could do it maybe next week, is to go to different stores, make a list of items, and then go to the stores and see how much they are. Regular price, not sales. Well, you could do that. I'd just get on the phone and call them. You're wasting a lot of gas and energy doing that. Yeah, I guess so. I just, I don't know. I don't think call people first, but okay. I can call. <laughs> call the produce, you know, say, hey, you know, I mean, that's what I would do. Is just call them and say, well, if I have a list of items. Well, just say, I mean, well, if you have a list of items, you, you call a, call them up and is it produce that you're looking for? Uh, I was for? thinking in the produce area, meat area, and maybe some rice, um, I, I want to pick healthier things, like the things that we we think are healthy. Yeah, I wanted to do that too. Uh, I just found that that's a, a you know to go around. I mean, to even try to get all the stores lined up and try to figure out how much it is per pound. I just uh, keep a mental note. You know, if I'm doing an item, you you want you know you can build a you know you can build like I was going to build a, um, a just a blog thing and compare different prices of different things that I always buy to, with different stores. And I start taking pictures, you know, of stuff or just making a mental note. But, you know, it's, that's a that's a huge project and I don't know, you, you're you welcome to do it. <laughs> I'm thinking if I took a day or two and just drove around because, I mean, honestly, believe it or not, I do a lot of going to different stores anyway. Like I said, I usually shop at Treasure Island, Dominic's, um, Tony's. So in a week, I'm at these stores anyway, like often. So I could quickly, and compare it to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, um, I don't know. And I guess looking at the healthier items, and I'm, I'm saying compiling a database of this in a sense of trying to have some kind of data like empirically dated support that shows these choices are healthier. Well, yeah, just make sure you go down and save a lot where the tomatoes are, remember those tomatoes were $1.50? <laughs> yeah, was, was like, and they weren't even good tomatoes. It was like... They were know. like the worst, the bottom barrel tomatoes because it's like... And then, right, and then to charge the community... Like, that's just like, I, I don't understand that. Did we ever figure out who Safeway was uh, connected to? 
Safeway is the parent corporation of Dominic's. And they're closing the stores here, but they're not closing their other stores across the country. Really? Mm-hmm. And um, Albertsons is the parent store of Jules. Huh. Yeah. So they're closing Safeways here because they're Dominic's. For some reason, they're saying Dominic's isn't doing well in the Chicago market, which I'm amazed at that because there's a Dominic's on Chicago and Damon and it, that Dominic's at Chicago and Damon the only other major grocery store is over on Fullerton and Clybourne which is a I think another Dominic's um, there's the Jewels and the Dominic's there's the Dominic's that's on Division and Clybourne by the way by that Chicago Avenue grocery store I and, and there's there's the Jewels that's on Division and Clark so those are two major grocery stores in that area I think there's a Treasure Island on North Avenue and Leans um, in Old Wells, Town. Wells. Right. right, well, I mean, Wells. So if Dominic's, I don't believe, I find it hard to believe that Dominic's is doing well on Division and Claiborne or on Chicago and Damon. And I used to live walking distance to that Chicago and Damon store, and that's where we shopped. And before it was Dominic's, it was actually a small local grocery store, but we would mm -hmm. shop there. Um, but now that it's Dominic's and they invested all of this money to rebuild the whole place and, and make it all nice and pretty and beautiful with the Starbucks in it, with great produce, I can't believe because there's not another grocery store close walking distance for about a mile. And they have so many people living there. I can't believe that they're not paying for itself. The Dominic's? Yeah. Maybe the margins are thin. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know I what the... You know, I, don't, you don't, I don't know why either, but it just makes me ask the question. I can see over here in Oak Park, like the Dominic's that's closest to me doesn't get as much traffic as the Jewels that's over in River Forest. But the Jewels in River Forest is a chaotic mess to me, so that's why I don't shop there. Can you make, can you make a note uh, just to down the line here uh, that maybe we should try to uh, reach out to past employees in management of these firms to figure out how it operates? Okay. How, how the grocery stores operate, what kind of margins they're on. And we can, I think we can reach out to like Link, or we could, well, I don't know if we could do it on LinkedIn, but maybe we can do it on LinkedIn to reach out um, to them, to those people that might be able to grant us an interview. Okay. And um, uh, and I also think another action step should be actually I don't I don't know if this will make sense, but somehow or other compiling grocery stores in in Chicago because I mean I know of a lot of places where a lot of grocery stores are, but I really haven't lived in Chicago in over seven years. So it's possible that some other places opened up that I don't know about, and, and are they serving the communities? And you know, what are the how is the quality of the groceries? And, and you know what I mean, just to get an idea of how serious this food desert concept is. Well, uh, I think that's a great idea because when you present the proposal to the city, you still need that too. Or we're going to need that. I keep saying you, but I know. There I am, under the bus again. <laughs> no, 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 you're the protagonist. You're the protagonist. <laughs> Not under the bus, you're driving the bus. It's driving the train. <laughs> Not under the bus. <laughs> I never said you were under the train. bus. <laughs> you are the bus driver. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we need to a major grocery store map in the city and, to see how many and where they are and what the influence is. Because I think... Um, well, I have an idea of what it's going to look like. I think you'll see a lot of save-a-lots and a lot of food for lesses in certain areas that you wouldn't see in other areas. Well, here's another thing, too. Uh, these resources might be out there, and we don't have to recreate them. We just have to look for them. Yeah, I think we could just Google map each store chain. <laughs> well, or somebody has already compiled a 
this idea. This idea might be already out there because there's a lot of it. And also, um, we should also start looking at creating uh, links for all the food desert related uh, articles. Uh, well, you we could do that on Wikio. You know how you you have your the links that you're doing. You can yeah. easily on Wikio they actually have a link, <laughs> a click link that you it just says uh, add a link. Yeah, I know. I'm just yeah. saying this is a note as a note. Right. We could we could do that there, but I and I want to put this as a resource on the site as well. On oh, oh on the website. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and another thing that we should put on the website is I know that you put on uh, the um, the fundraiser campaign, but we should create it on the sidebar so it's static there, so it's not get doesn't get lost. Okay, and uh, a don and I want to do a donate button. <laughs> and they have and so it has the ability. I just don't know. I have to look at the um what 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 goes behind that I think it would go to like say your PayPal account right and 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 um, yeah so there's some people on the, the meetup group right that um, that were had some strength okay. in, in, um, in web design and, and stuff like that I think we need to reach out to them even though they weren't at the meeting because you know we need them now because I don't know I mean I could I know the plugins I I know how to plug something in but you know to create that um, that that um, that widget that you put on there and just put the code are you going to finish up on that design of the website by the way yes this weekend okay. by the end of this weekend um, and you were fine with the the other design did you get a chance to see it what other design? What others? What other design? Hang on, hang on. Let me get back to it. Uh, no, that's, that's 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 that's. Let me go to Chrome. I was actually trying to clean my computer up the other day. Cause really? I have. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many windows I have open. So I was trying to process through these things, and because I, I don't want to just quickly bookmark, I want to make sure I have it going to a spot, and I'm I'm weird with it, so I had I I can process through them, kind of like the idea of like the mailbox when people have their mail on the table, they drop their mail because they're like, oh, I got to go through it. Right. Well, I I I did that with my bookmarks because my bookmarks is just out of control. And I had to create some type of management system for it. So I started creating folders um, to uh, yeah, different, I, different places, you know. Because I'll just go up there, oh, add this to the bookmark, and I'll have a list of stuff. Now i got to go through it and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like, I, I, don't, I, I need to be on top of my management. Yeah, I, I have folders uh, for my um, so, bookmarks, but mm -hmm. I'm what? actually, wait, hang on, I'm pulling it up, but it's moving slow. Hang on, let me get to the dashboard. So I wanted to use... Um, I'll screen share. How much more time do you have? Eight minutes? Are you going to screen share on uh, live? No. Eric, sorry. did you I lose stream, you? you know. Okay. How uh, much more time I mean, do you have? I'm, Eight I'm minutes? I'm flexible. I just um, wanted to get out of here. I mean, I don't have to pick up my daughter. <laughs> you know. Okay. Well... And I don't have to pick her up till four. Yeah, see, it's affecting. It's Chrome might be my problem. Uh, 
Alright, Chrome, I'm going to kill you. Are you getting... Alright, it's under... Um... Huh? Now, uh, do, you, do you want me to go to it, or what? Let me go to the, the, the site. Well, I was pulling oh, you know, it up. Share. Yeah, can you go to the site? Because I'm trying to... I was going to screen share. You want to screen share it? Yeah, just make sure that just make sure you don't we don't uh, divulge anything on on this live thing. That's secrets. Do we have secrets? <laughs> Passwords? <laughs> oh no, I think okay. Interesting. While I'm, while you're doing that, I'm doing some more management and uh, cleaning out one of my desk drawers. This <laughs> got out of hand. See how handy that book is coming to handy that book is coming. I know, just to make life easier, minimalist, minimalizing. Yeah. You know what? What? I'm in our themes, and I wonder if two of the themes got taken down. Can do what? I, I think that I'm missing, I don't see the theme anymore. It's gone. Which is kind of good to know, I guess, because that means that... Maybe it was this one. Let me look. Yes, it was. Okay, that keeps happening. Okay, so I'm going to activate what I was looking at for right now just so we, we can see it because it doesn't preview Okay. for some reason. So I'm going to go to the site and hang on, hang on. Okay, now I'm going to screen share if I can figure that out. Hey, uh, speaking of, uh, speaking of uh, well, we didn't speak of, How's the the, the uh, hits on uh, the channel that you're creating for the live thing? Are you getting hits on that? What do you mean? Meaning that are, are you seeing that the views are increasing when you put the live on, on Google? Yeah, I haven't checked that. I can check that. Let me check it now. On YouTube, you mean? Yeah, you're putting them on YouTube, right? Yeah, but I, I didn't upload. Oh, that's another thing. Okay, so we did... We did it again today, but yeah. I need to, when we do this stuff, we need to come from the Farm Network Project um, login, not our own. Right. No, I'm saying on yours. I know. I'm looking at mine now, but yeah, that was my sister had said. We need to do that. Hang on. Let me get to my videos. Okay, on the f on the meetup hangout that we did. Hi. <laughs> Oh, um, we got four subscribers now. On our channel? Yep. Awesome. Three, of them, three of them are anonymous, so you're the only one that I could see, but the rest of them has, have remained uh, unseen, but we are 
up to four now. So it's, that thing is working. Okay, we had six playbacks for an average view duration of six minutes. Okay. Um, on the most recent one <clears throat> in on this week. For the most re for the meetup hangout. Okay. And then for let's see for the one session our last session that we did. Okay. Um, I'm going to it now. <laughs> we got. Let's see. Nobody. Well, uh, from zero to six, that's a six hundred percent increase. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. Let's see. All right. So that's. A, I don't want to take you from that. Uh, so what are we looking at here? That is what I wanted to go with. Right now, we have to put images up for all of these posts. We have to pick yeah. an image. What do you think of it? Too dark? Uh, we can always change the color, right? Yeah, 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 because I changed it from all white to uh, all black or grayish black, so we could change that color. Because you said you didn't like white. No, I mean, no, I, well, I didn't like... I, a lot of white. A lot of white. That's, I think, yeah. So, and I'm, um, this is fine. You I like, like the, yeah. So we're gonna go with this, right? Yeah. So what? I, and this is um, an iBuddy one. Okay. So I just need to, I guess, figure out and people for help how to um, how to facilitate that because I saw on the iBuddy one because I did an iBuddy search and this one came up with iBuddy. Uh huh. But I need to just, I want to confirm it before I commit to it. And then after that, we'll be done. So I'll do that this week, by the end of this week. All right, cool. Weekend included in that, by the way. Sure, no problem. Yeah, so I just went back and let me undo my screen share. Look at that, it went opposite. So that way, um, it'll, it'll, people will be able to log in, I guess, and, and be starting a community dialogue. Sure. Okay. Um, what else do we need to cover? I think I think that's it for now. I what guess. Are, um, what are our action steps? Can we go over our action steps? Talk to the city to find out ordinances. What support does the city provide? What are their rules? And I guess any other questions that may come out of it. Are we going to try and record that? Uh. What, with the city? Yeah, I can ask and see yeah. if they say yes yeah, or no. See if they'll be up to it, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then it says, see what resource site that illustrates top diseases by communities and our programs and gardens addressing these issues. Uh, price companies, price comparisons for the stores, for major stores, grocery stores. And I think if that might be a back, that might, I think that should be a back burner. Back burner. Yeah, rather than an action step, that should be a back burner. Okay, because I could actually. What, no, I was going to say what what so what's going to move this forward? I think talking to the city will. Tomorrow's meeting, if that happens. With Siri and Inami. Right. And then. Um, I want to compile the major grocery map and then finishing the website. Okay. Uh, so what I'll do is I could what I could do between I'll have to do it. What's my schedule like tomorrow? So tomorrow is just. Are we going to create that? We also need to, as an action step, I think we need to create an action plan for our fundraiser. Oh yes, uh, yes. Action plan fundraiser. 
because that that's going to be idle if we don't start coming up with some ideas to try to figure out how to uh, how to you know execute that. Uh, and one of the things that I also can do uh, to move things forward is to reach out to uh, you know the people like I sent that email out today. Did you get it? I saw that with the um, community group people. Yeah. And the uh, co-op people never got back to you, did they? The what? That co-op group out in Pullman. What about them? They did. Did they get back to you? You sent. No, them? they haven't got back. Nobody's gotten back to me. Okay. Uh, that's the way it goes. Well, <laughs> we're going into uh, the holidays, so it's a little harder this time. Like maybe after January first, we will catch people more. Yeah, I'm also going to reach out to Connor too to see what's going on with her. Okay, and I saw that email back from Nick. He said, "Is Nick the right name? The guy who's um, said he's done with his finals now?" Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's uh, that's Nathan. Nathan, where did Nick come from? I have no Nick idea. Nick was the guy who was supposed to. I think Nick was the guy who was supposed to uh, connect with either Tuesday and Wednesday. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. We're making these contacts and we're losing them, which is another thing that we're going to have to try to create some type of system. So we, I know we're all busy. Either we get the help, you know, get more help, which I think uh, I want to put out an ad on Craig. I put out an ad on Craigslist for volunteers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but nobody responded. But we're going to need help facilitating these because we're coming up with too many ideas and we're getting people involved and then people still raising their hand and they're falling through the cracks because what you know, were we we're supposed to do with Nick again? Nick was the one that uh, he was going to do the Google Hangout and he said Saturday and and Saturday wasn't good because we were filming and he says Tuesday or Wednesday we'll do the Google, Google Hangout right but I thought Right, right, right. But I thought we, I thought we were inviting him to the Google Hangout that we did on Tuesday, and he was never invited him. Oh. <laughs> but I, I, and I totally got Nick and Nathan confused in my head when I saw Nathan's response. Uh, that's no problem. I mean, well, it's not, not, not no problem. But that's yeah. what I'm just saying that we, we have to, we have to tighten this up with more help. Yeah. We need to get some volunteers, which. I think should be another action item uh, that we put down is to get some resources for volunteers other than Craigslist because there's a lot of nonprofit organizations that kind of reach out. There's a lot of websites out there that uh, reach out. Should we, you know, reach out, you know, nationally because we can put more than just one Craigslist ad in Chicago. It doesn't have to be local. Somebody could do something on a virtual. We also need to, as an action step, is to create our Facebook page. So, um, can uh, so you're gonna put all on on the on uh, Wigio? Yeah, I'll do all of this on Wigio. I'm writing it down now, and then because I know you want to get out of here, and actually this gives me a a pretty good starting point. All right, so then I'll come back to Wigio and see what uh, I can do. How can you? How can you? Um, how can how can on Wigio because there's so much stuff that we got now. How can I identify what you just put on there? Is there a way to start or uh, put a date? Can we put a date on that? I can put a date on it, but here let me show you something else that you can do on Wigio. Hang on. Make a different colors. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me go to it. Okay, now, and Wigio, are you seeing this? Yeah, I am. Okay, you see where um, you have the feed going on, and you see yeah. this showing all content? You click right. the drop-down menu, and it pulls up to-do lists. Just, you know, you see what I'm saying? You can you can see everything. Oh, okay, yeah. Or you could just see what you're specifically looking to see. Oh, see? Okay, so that. that is... <laughs> 
one way that I noticed recently. So I don't know, and then you can also over here, like for each thing, like there's a to-do list. If you wanted to make a comment, you can click the down in that to-do item, click the drop down and say, okay, here's a comment coming, or let me attach a file, or here's a link, or I'll say a video no or video or a voice note, either way, any of that right. okay. over there. So that's something I notice. We can, and you know you can send messages when you hover over people. Over there. Oh, I didn't know that. No. Yeah, so you could hover over, like I could hover here and send you a message of any kind right there. Then you can also send a text message, uh, re send out an availability request, like if we want to do it to do a meeting or whatever, voice note, video note, we could do that. And up here we can schedule like an event, a conference call, a virtual meeting, like a um, WebEx type thing or a chat room over there. And this is where you can just put in the links where you attach links. Right. Up I, there. Yeah, I did, yeah, I did that. And uh -huh. they go private, though. No, you just need to make sure over here, you see where it says all groups, and then uh -huh. over here is your actual group. Okay. You can click into, because you can have many different groups, not just with oh, just the I see. Gotcha. So then, um, and when you go to create something, if you're in all groups and you go to create something, you notice where it says choose group, you can click there and you can choose which group and then you can add, like X out people that you don't want to see it or get it if you want to. Gotcha. Um, if, or, or you can make it, if you do it all groups and keep it that way, it'll make it private to you. Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so, so, yeah, if, if you can create that uh, to-do list mm -hmm. and put it on there, uh, for our group, then I can come back and see it, and we'll see what I can knock out too. Cool beans. Uh, between tonight and tomorrow morning. Now, when yes. are we going? When are we? Do, should we conclude that we're going to meet up and talk about brainstorm about before our meeting, if that happens tomorrow, um, with Siri about how to fun or what action steps to create for the fundraising thing because I think you, your sister Andrew you said now are you teaching her uh, social media I mean how like what I wanted to do huh oh no go ahead <laughs> what I wanted to do was you know come out with some of these I, uh, ideas that have been successful uh, as best practices right of creating uh, and I think you had mentioned somebody was doing something with Twitter and they built their following there. I think you mentioned that story. Or there's a lot of best practices out there already that we can start trying to execute these ideas. Are you going to be able to help Angie do that? Yeah. And um, my, what my sister, her, she does graphic design stuff. And she's okay. familiar with social media and stuff. I'm just more of the geek of social media in my family, so everybody kind of defers to me. Okay. So, um, and my uncle as well. Um, I, but he's like, he's go, he's a his hobby is DJing. So right now he's trying to figure out how to social media eyes music. <laughs> okay, because um, I I know one website, which let me see. Um, that I would have to, I would have to find it. Uh, that is very good. Um, has some very good content about what to do. And I'll have to find it. I can put it on there. I don't want to look for it now. Okay. But anyway. Well, if you uh, find it, put the link in Wigio. Uh, hold on. You know what? It just came. I just came. I just just came to me. What this guy's name is. Chris uh, Huh? Uh, the guy who did unmarketing. Hold on. I think I found it. Let's see. This is the guy. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> and, anyway. I there's a, a, wait, is it Scott Stratton built up his whole Twitter sphere thing through Twitter. He's a social media expert dude. I think it's Scott Stratton. Um, well, he did unmarketing. And then there's Chris Brogan. Seth Godin is another one. Um, oh, I know what I wanted you to see. 
What? When you get a chance, can you, I'm going to send you this person. Look at, Google her and look at her videos. Um, I like her webisodes. Um, I mean, it's all like business and life coaching type stuff, but um, I like the format. Take a look at it and see what you think. And she green screens everything, and she works out of her living room. Uh, where'd you put it at? I sent you in uh, Google. Oh, this, guy, this lady here? Uh huh. You can Google her and then take a look at some of. She's on YouTube. She has a channel on YouTube. Um. Oh, we need to finish branding too. Um. She has a, a channel on YouTube that has a ton of videos. She gets hundreds of thousands of visits. So she's one of those YouTube people that are making money off of her YouTube. But um, I like her format. Her videos are usually five minutes unless she's interviewing with someone, and then it could be as far as twenty minutes. Yeah, I just found this guy too. Um, I'm gonna click this link to you. There you go. Oh no, I do not know that name. I know not that name. Yeah, and then uh, all right. So I'm gonna get out of here because we can keep on doing this forever. <laughs> I know, right? Uh. You know what? Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this woman's name before I, I leave. You said her site and just bookmark it in a book for social media. I got to create another folder. Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on. I just I just sent you that link. Um, so, oh, I was going to say. Uh, Okay. Um, so, should we get tomorrow together tomorrow? Well, you were saying you wanted to get together tomorrow at the space to shoot intros. At the what? At your space to shoot intros. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're breaking up on me. Hold on for a second. Why is this thing not? Hold on. Give me one second. Add another folder. All right, um, social media experts, okay, and this is who we're putting in there, bookmark, and bookmark, um, Give me one second. Hold on. <laughs> I got so much stuff going on. Okay. All right. Um, so did you what want did you just say? You said that you wanted to see if we could meet tomorrow at your space to shoot intros. Yeah. Yeah, I did. But we haven't planned it out. That was an idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was an idea. Because either we could make a meeting and I can bring the since I bring the camera anyway. So we could what do you mean by intros? Do you mean like like you know, we're we're we're, we're like if you look at some of the uh, the videos on the fundraising campaigns, they they talk about the fundraising. They fund we I think it's much better. I think we should we should back burn that until next week. I don't know what your schedule's next week or what you plan on doing. Um, see, here's the thing. So after. Saturday, I plan on driving because my one of the projects now is to go get this, to get, raise enough money to get a van. Um, so I was going to drive until I had enough money to get a van. Okay. And so you know when I drive, I'm just like out of commission. Right. And if I don't, so if I'm gonna start it Saturday and drive until you know whenever, at least until the. To, Christmas holiday, then the only way we're going to be able to, well, we got to figure out how to do this because 
we, either we're gonna we can work on it we can work on the script tonight to figure out what we're gonna say and do it tomorrow and put it on there to make it more personable and then just from there then we can go to series afterwards and then we can brainstorm at the loft on how to execute the ideas yes is that a plan that's a plan all right so the only thing is I'm supposed to meet with somebody tonight well I can work out this I can work on the script and shoot you something hmm I'll work on the script and shoot you something, and then whenever, if you're not too tired, when you get back from what you're doing, you could take a look at it and see what you think, and, and we could head, you know, knock it out that way so that it doesn't interfere with your plans. Okay, sounds good. Well, let me get out the door. Okay. And uh, be sure to po post this on the, uh, on the website and, um, I guess, your site, and then from then on, we're going to start using our channel. Right. All right. I will talk to you later on. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.